Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, SCCM 1902. And we need to upgrade our ADK to deploy Windows 10 1903. I did a video with you guys with uh, MDT 8456 upgrading ADK on that. And also deploying Windows 10 1903. I completely forgot that I had an SCCM server. So I said to myself, let me do a video and show you guys the step-by-step -step of how I upgraded my server. So let's get started. First things first, uh, I'm going to right click on the start menu, go to run, type in WinVER, hit OK. I just want to show you guys that my SCCM server is running on a Windows Server 2016 uh, version 1607. Uh, I have to do some major planning uh, because I want to upgrade this server to 2019. I just don't know when I'm going to do that. So first things first, we need to download the latest Windows ADK. Hopefully, if I remember, if not, hopefully you guys will remind me. I will post a link uh, to this website so you can download the Windows ADK as well as the Windows PE. Now, first things first, you need to click on the download the Windows ADK for Windows 10 version 1903 link. And because I'm doing everything within the Internet Explorer, I'm going to get the nice little dialog box uh, on the bottom. So I'm going to click on the arrow. And I'm going to pick save as and I'm going to make sure I drop it inside the downloads folder and then click save. Uh, once that's done, click on the download the Windows PE add on for the ADK and you're going to get the same thing. I'm going to click on the little drop down, a little arrow that points down, click on save as and it's going to drop it automatically to the downloads folder because that was the last place that I saved something into. Right. So click save. Boom. So I'm going to click on open folder. And within open folder, I'm going to see my two files. These two files we're going to need so we can upgrade IADK. But before you do that, I should mention that whatever major installation or upgrade that you do with your SCCM, make sure you back up your server. Or if you're running it within a virtual environment, take a snapshot. I should have said that first. Okay. Now, to install this successfully, you need to do a couple of things. You need to remove your current ADK within your SCCM server manually. I know that sucks. You would think if you double click on one of these guys, it will remove it and install the new one, but it doesn't. Now, within my desktop, I'm going to right click on the start menu, go to control panel, and within control panels, I'm going to go inside programs and features. And then I'm going to locate my Windows ADK and my Windows PE. So I'm going to highlight my Windows ADK first and then click uninstall. You're going to get a nice little warning, hit yes, and it's going to uninstall the features. Once everything is completed, you're going to get this and just click on close. Now locate your Windows PE stuff, highlight it, click on uninstall. You're going to get a warning again, click yes. It's going to start uninstalling the features. Once it's completed, you're going to get this, click close. Done. Now go back inside that downloads folder or I don't know, you probably dropped these files inside the desktop or a particular folder is up to you. I went inside the downloads folder, so I am going to I'm going to highlight the ADK setup, right click on it, run as administrator. From here, I'm going to click on next. Uh, pick your poison. I pick no. Click next. Accept the license and terms. I left everything as the default. Click install. It's going to start installing all the features and once everything is done, bam, just click close and that's it. So I went back inside my programs and features just to make sure that my Windows ADK is installed and it's running 18.3.6.2 because that's the version that's going to support Windows 10 1903 to deploy successfully. So I'll go back inside that folder. For me, it was download. I highlighted my ADK WinPE, right clicked on it and I'm going to run it as an administrator. Click next here. Uh, pick your poison. I pick no. Click next. Accept the license and terms. Uh, you only have one feature and click install. Once this is done, you're going to get the following. Click close. And if you go back inside your programs and features, your control panel, uh, you're going to see that Windows PE is the version of 18.3.6.2. Good to go. Now, I'm going to click on start and I'm going to locate my configuration manager console. I'm going to launch that up. And once it's completed, uh, it's going to launch up our console. So from here, what we need to do is the following. We need to go inside our software library and expand overview, expand our operating system node and go inside boot images. Now within my boot images, the only one I've been using so far within my environment is the boot image 64. From here, we need to pick update distribution point and we're going to get the following wizard. And we want to uncheck reload the boot image with the current Windows PE version from the Windows ADK. And then we click next, next again, 
and it's going to start reloading the boot image. And once everything is completed, you're going to get green check marks and then you're able to close. Now, if you refresh the page, you should see that the new build is going to be 18362. Now, because I'm deploying Windows 10 19 on three within my SCCM, I'm going to go inside my sources my OSD, OS, OS images, Windows 10 x64, and I'm going to create a new folder called V1903. Uh, if you guys don't know what this is, I have videos detailing why I have this type of folder uh, system. So check that out. So within the V1903, I'm going to open it up. It's all blank. I mounted my ISO for my Windows 10 Enterprise version 1903, and I'm just going to copy all that content within that folder locally inside my SCCM server. Okay. Once it's completed, you're good to go. Now within software library overview operating system, we want to go inside operating system images. We're going to right click on it and we're going to add a operating system image. You're going to get a nice little wizard. Now you got to understand, I already dropped these, I already dropped my operating system files within my SCCM server and we need to point to the install.win file, but it wants a UNC path. So my UNC path is going to be, you know, whack, whack, the name of my server, sources, blah, 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 to 1903. Uh, I copy that path, I clicked on browse, and I basically paste it, and I'm going to open it. Now, we need to pick install.win. So highlight install.win, and then click open. From here, click on next. Into the information, I'm going to leave everything as is and then click next again. It's going to start adding the operating system within your SCCM server. Once everything is done, hit close and there you go. Windows 10 Enterprise eval version 1903. That is the one that we did and the image ID is BTN0026 and the OS version is 18362. Now I right click on the operating system image and I pick distribute content and I clicked on next. I clicked on the add. I went to distribution point. I only selected one, but I made a mistake. I should have selected both of them within my environment. If you only have one distribution point, you just select it. For me in my environment, I have two. I should have done both of them. I don't know why I did one. Click OK. Click next. A nice little summary. Next again and done. Click close. Now, once you import your operating system node, we need to create a task sequence. So within your task sequence, we're going to right click on it and create a task sequence. And you can get the nice little wizard. By default, it's going to pick install an existing image package. So click on next. From here, you're going to provide a task sequence name. So this is a task sequence name that I provided. And once you do that, we need to pick a boot image. So click on browse. And within browse, we need to pick our boot image. So I'm going to select it, click OK, and then click next here. From here, we need to click on browse. And we need to pick our operating system image. So it would be the Windows 10 Enterprise eval version 1903 that we imported. Highlight it, click OK. Once you pick your image package, uh, enable the account and specify a local administrative password. Enter the password and confirm it, and then click Next. Uh, if you want to join a work group, go for it. If you have a domain, go for it. I basically picked Join a Work Group and entered Work Group. That's it. Click Next. Uh, install the configuration manager client. This is the default stuff that I have. Click Next here. I'm not going to migrate anything, so I uncheck that. Click Next. I'm not going to include any updates for this because I'm testing it out. Click next. I'm not going to install any applications because again, I'm still, I'm testing the ADK 1903 and I'm testing out the deployment of Windows 10 1903 within my SCCM. I'm just testing everything out. Uh, click next here, nice little summary. Click next, completion, all green check marks. That's a good thing, close it. From here, once you create your task sequence, we're gonna right click on it and we're going to deploy. And within deploy, we need to pick a collection. So I'm going to click on browse. You're going to get this nice little warning. Click OK. Now I like to push out this task sequence to all unknown computers because I like to do it during the Pixie boot. So I'm going to pick that. Click OK. Click next. And within the drop down menu, I'm going to pick only media and Pixie. This is this task sequence. I want it to be distributed and advertised during Pixie boot so I can image my machines using this new task sequence that's going to install Windows 10 uh, version 1903. Click next. I'm not going to schedule it, so I'm going to click next here. Uh, I'm going to leave everything as the default. Click next here. No alerts. Click next. Uh, for the DP section, I'm going to leave everything as the default and click next. 
Nice little summary. Next again, all green check marks, and we're going to close. Awesome. So I created a virtual machine within my environment. I pixie boot. It started talking to one of my distribution points. And once it started, it started loading up the WIM image, which is your boot image. And once it loads up, it's going to launch up. Now, I have my SCCM to the point that it's going to get, uh, it's going to stop. I need to enter a password to continue. So I'm going to enter my password, hit next. It's going to start retrieving the policies for this computer. And one of the policies is, you know, the task sequence. And because this machine is within a collection of unknown computer, it's going to get that, uh, that task sequence being, um, what do you say, um, distribute, right? And there you go. You're going to see this. Pick a task sequence. So I'm going to pick the task sequence that I created, which was deploy Windows 10 x64 v1903 TS. Click next. It's going to start formatting, partitioning, applying the operating system, applying the image one, because that's index one within the win file of that Windows 10 Enterprise 1903 file. It's going to start downloading the WIM, installing it, rebooting constantly. Once it starts rebooting and you see this, that basically means that the operating system is good to go and it installs successfully. And it's going to start configuring the networks. And then, boom, done. You're able to log in using the admin because remember, when we created the task sequence, we told it that we wanted to enable the local admin, then provide the password to log in. It's going to start configuring itself. And once it's done, you're logged in. Now, within this uh, virtual machine that I created to test out the deployment, I right clicked on the start menu and then went to run and type in WinBER. Click OK. And I just wanted to show you guys that this machine is running Windows 10 version 1903 using SCCM. So the process for this to all work would be the following. One, back up your SCCM server or if you're running it within a virtual environment, take a snapshot. Two, download your Windows ADK and the Windows PE, the latest one that is going to support your the Windows 10 1903. Go inside your control panel, programs and features, uninstall the old stuff, install the new stuff. Open up your SCCM, reload your boot image, import your operating system, create a task sequence, and then test. And between importing the operating system and also creating the task sequence, you also have to like uh, deploy the task sequence to a collection as well as distribute content to your DPs. So I kind of missed that. So don't worry about it. But that's the process. And that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Please leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.